Well, Glasgow was central to Macintosh's life and career. He was born here, trained here, created his most important buildings in and around the city. I think what the visitor can see going around the properties is how Macintosh used daylight coming in through great windows or reflected off mirror glass, um, and how he would make you move from a a dark lit space into a larger open top lit space and create these contrasts. Macintosh wasn't uh, drawing on his past historic style, but taking inspiration from the forms of nature. You can do a search for roses and leaves and plant forms. Walking through the School of Art is quite a journey in the sense of a sympathetic hand leading you through and giving surprise, not just natural light but artificial light as well. Those extraordinary ones that cascade down the centre of the library. Each of the properties will tell you a different piece of the story of Macintosh. So anybody interested in Macintosh has to come to Glasgow. Thank you.